brothers and sisters in Kenya and heaven can home hi brothers and sisters in Christ my name is Wambui the Kenya I do entertainment kindly do consider subscribing to my channel only if you feel that the kind of content I do will affect your life positively I am a Christian and my core job is to inspire and probably to have workmates to heaven and attack our so today I'll tell you about my childhood memories that stuck with me. Yeah, up until now. No, I have many siblings. I have six sisters and two brothers. And I've grown up with my nephew too. His name is Boaz. He's like uh, four years younger than me. Uh, so um, the most memories that I can actually remember, we used to do biking. We used to do stories that tene tene muno, nikwari nakanugo. Yeah, and... Uh, we used to do um, hide and seek and then play with those balls made of karata and then and then we do that and that there's that game where we used to play in class where we'd take a book and then una tick kama kama like for example like this one you take you take a book if 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 kama kuna kuna picha una unaangalia unaka unachukua unachuguria hivi unaangalia kama iko na picha una tick I used to love that game. Na ile ku guess number, uki guess iko na picha unasema like ni yako. Ukifunga hivi, ime guess page 4. Uki guess 4 funga. Ah, iko na picha ni yangu. I used to love that game. Yeah, and just in case this is a very wonderful book, but I'm using the front camera so probably it would. So this is plucked from a horrible pit by Benson M. Munyao. Yeah, I got this from my sister. Ndio alipata wapi but I love it. So read a lot. Yeah, kusoma ni kuzuri, they make you wiser. Hmm? Yeah, and the, and the word of God. You know, they said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah, unafia mungu kwanza, alafu, unapata wisdom, alafu unasoma book. And I actually don't think people actually get the real meaning of that. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's like fearing not to do wrong to him. And the way I understand from my point, it's like not kuongopa kufanya makosa, the way you like you fear your parents, inge taka kuenda kusharusha uchafu, inge taka kumishbehave because you fear the, your parents it's kind of fear with respect me personally, my kind of fear what you understand by the fear of the Lord is I will not do anything that will offend God because I fear him I, I, I respect him I always change that word in my world for respect so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I won't lie because I fear the Lord. I won't steal because I fear the Lord. I won't commit adultery because I fear the Lord. It's more of a healthy fear. that The kind of fear like I won't come to school late because I fear getting a punishment from the principal. I won't steal my, man, my parents' money because I fear their punishment. It's more like that, yeah. But if you are a pastor out there and you understand more on the fear of the Lord, please teach us. These are things that we need to learn. Teach us about these things here. Yeah. Prosperity in Missouri, lakini we need now to learn the real things because these are the things that will help us to get there to heaven. So, yeah. so today I'll tell you about another thing that stuck with me in my childhood. Yeah, my uh, another thing is uh, my muchongwa now with my brother Domo. Now Domo has to be like, Theo! Choko, 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 brother, I can't actually even put a word to it because it's really good and really bad at the same time. So Dongo was really hectic at Mchongwani. Like everything would have to be a Mchongwani. Like, so one day we come from school. Me ni kitoka shule, I used to be the first one. Na toka, naenda na washa katun, we are watching Power Puff Girls and Ed and Eddie. So Dongo comes and sits me down and tell me, Waboy, unajua President Haidagi Cho? I'm like, Dongo. Size on the classic, so I'm understanding the digestive system. We are learning colon, digestive stains. I tell him, ah, ah, don't know. Kila mtu akikula kitu, lazima yende kwa tumbo. Na ikienda kwa tumbo, lazima itoke. Kwa hivyo, president anendanga cho. Ata nilisoma kwa sa, kwa ya sas. Apana wa boy, president haidagi sho. Haidagi sho. Anezade sho, sho ajia kiwa na bodyguard. President haidagi sho. I tell him, now this is distracting me from watching my cartoon. And I'm getting really irritated because I'm telling him the right thing and he doesn't want to understand. So I go to my mom. And I nakalisha mama yangu chini. My mom, Susan, is there. Anachagua to, to, to mbosho. I told him, mom, ebu ambia dongo. 
hakuna mtu dunia endangi cho hata president anedaga cho and then my uh, and then do was my mom mom president anedaga cho my mom is like hapana haidagi like mom sumwambi ukweli hakuna mtu endangi cho like eh sasa nyinyi niwaulize hmm? mumeka hapa kuniuliza kama president anedaga cho instead mujulize kama nyinyi kesho mutaenda show hmm? baba yenu akuacha pesa ya chakula Eh, muna expect aje muende show kesho hmm? lakini mnakuja hapa kuniuliza kama mtu amekewa kufi kwa meza zimejaa chakula kama kesho ataenda chuo hebu ni ondokeni hapa and i like that time i'm feeling so bad because i'm intelligent according to me and don't you should learn so i'm like okay i give up nenda na kiti chini naendelea kunywa chai i'm just from school nenda na kiti chini naendelea kunywa chai yangu nikiwa chingi pa pa guys and then don't comes and like sawa baboy waboy ni sawa basi ka president anedaga cho na mugu na mugu waboy mugu anedaga cho like girl fuck sasa huyu nafa ni muombe nini like dongo mimi mimi si chezaji na mambo ya mungu acha tu ikaacha ishie tu hapo acha ai ai acha tu ishie hapo and then na, yani he used to be so dramatic would have like mchongo ano for the most serious things serious things and then lying I used to get so many punishments for Dongo. Tutatoka shule so it's me and Dongo and my 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 nephew Boaz. He's like four years. Yeah, so he's younger than us. So Boaz kakitoka shule kamechoka kako kidangati nika nakuja kakiwa kamelala. He used to wekelewa our food after school hapo juu. So utapata kama ni chapati zimekwa chapati tatu ni yangu ni ya Dongo na ya Boaz. Lakini Boaz chukatakuja kamechoka he'll first of all sleep and then pick later. So mi nitakuja ni kule yangu Dongo wa kule yake alafu twende to watch katu. so this one day my mom comes boaz is crying ni nini baba sijapata kitu ya kukula and then my mom calls me wa boy iko wapi kitu ya dongo ya kukula i'm like mom si niliacha mimi nilichukua chapo yangu nikaacha hapo ya dongo na boaz so he calls dongo dongo ulikula chapati ya ya, ya boaz hapana si kukula and then i'm like dongo ni sisi tu tuko watatu kwa nyumba nani amekula chapati ya boaz like hapana si mimi ni sawa tu wa boy niekere niekere hata nilichukua dunia nikaitupa niekere hata nitaenda kwa shetani niekere tu haina shida mimi sijakula i'm like can i drama yote imetoka tu chapati and i'm telling you through that that whole week atutapata kitu tukitokea shule i used to get punished for his own punishment mi dongo pale penya menipeleka mhm wacha tu niachie hapo yani dongo dongo was another one eh, but i love you dongo mm ngo kuliacha kuiba chakula another memory that stuck with me ni wa my neighbor so my mom does her own eh, she's a farmer her name is wanyokafi so wanyokafi wanyokafi started body shaming me when i was in class 6 imagine so mimi nimetokea shule that's that time ndo adolescence imekuja mm, mshaanza ku grow nini zishaanza kutokea stuff stuff so i'm from school and then and then she's like hmm. hey, wa boy siku hizi umekuwa mrembo usikubali vijana wa kucheze usikubali waguseguze machugwa yako and then dongo is there and then dongo is like he wait for that time kutumana salamu wa boy kwanza pita aliniambia nikusalimie i like couldn't do her wait unasikia kwanza huyo fita nasikia ameka wasichana wengi sana miba huku na and and look good into it and then another day I'll, fro, I'll, I'll be from school nimekuja tu nimechoka school wario kafiza kapetit woman so she'll come and she brings me a bra i mean classics i'm using boob tops then she's like hey, wa boy nimekuletea bra hii bra nitanunua nikaona niko iko kubwa sana lakini juu naona vile utakuwa mkubwa mm? ya kai bra utaitumia baadaye that I'm so ashamed you know you are growing you don't want people actually to notice it is that the time you don't want people to notice you actually growing boobs and she's there body shaming you before your mom and dongo and then dongo will be laughing all over hakuna mtu hata bia wanyo kafi alipatia wa boy go ya kuvaa huku hey so we like yes the will wanyo kafi and you know wanyo kafi I, i need to tell people this and it's a true story i'm not lying when i was supposed to do my class 8 so when i'm doing my class 8 you know those times kila mtu aendani shule ni wenye tu anafanya exam anaenda so me mtu wa nyokafi is like guy wa boy kwani unafanya class 8 i tell her yeah guy kwa nini huku niambia i was like 
e, umeishi kukuja kwetu ujuangi na nakupatanga every day after shule home like oh guy wa boy na nilikuwa nikununulia ikare ka card kanaitago aje kanaitago aje nikamwambia ka card ka gani kare card ya poroje Well, aki true story my sisters can my sisters comment there wanyoka vi told me aku ni nunulia card ya apology like ah uh, wanyoka fake ya college apology na ito card ya success ina ito card ya success na bi ah boy unajua mimi siku saba na ni vile nasikia goko kwa shamba watu wakisema wametuma apology sasa nafikiria hizo card zote zina ito apology eh and i'm telling you watch and i used to do so well in high school ah uh, in primary school but that exam sijui wanyoka fi nini ulinifanyia hmm? atika imagine anakuambia siku ya rehearsal hajakutumia card ya apology it's a true story i'm not lying i don't lie by the way god hates a lying tongue it's a thing god hates a lying tongue it's among the seven things that god hates most a lying tongue and people who cause discord between brothers mtu akupiganisha watu mtu akupeni imagine the sovereign god mwenye mungu anaambia ocean rudi nyuma he hates He hates a lying tongue. Imagine that kind of hatred. Yeah, so I don't lie. Wanyokafi akaniambia hivyo. Alafu and then he told me, sasa tuna kwa stiki pesa gapi? Nikamwambia kuna kale ka 5 bob, kuna kale ka 30 bob kanalianga na kuna ile ya 50 bob kubwa. Eh wa boy, shika hii 30 bob, ununue uka yako kakuria. Alafu 30 bob ununue kalanga. Mm. Wanyokafi, what did you do to me? Eh? You body shame me alafu akaniambia kwa hii nitumie card ya apology. Ni wanyokafi I always look when she's a friend by the way when I go home I'll take us a selfie with her you see she was like uh, my really 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 best place and then another one bado bado like um, my 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 still my the, this was a guy who used to do farming for my mom his name was Kamau he was Kamau Gathigara he actually died from river losses ya sigara so Kamau Gathigara he used to come home Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. After farming, anakuja na kachino. Anatubojia to watch Powerpuff Girls. And then you'll be like, wa boy, ebu ni yake kare kasi di kajen muthoni. And then I'll be like, sinili kwekia jana. I'll be like, kuna kawibu wapo number six. Siku understand vizuri. Kako na message mzuri sana. Ebu ni yake kwa kawibu kajen muthoni. Like, so basi have to change. And you know, like, you, you are there, you are... You don't want to do it but then it gives you the bombshell. Alafu kweli mama yako ako wapi? Na niko na kariport kake. Sasa kariport ni he has like gone to my mom's rentals. Ameokota rent ndo anakuja. So anataka kuonesha his significant. Dukataka kumweke hiyo Jane Muthoni utaona. Na kwa bei Jane Muthoni, the songs of Jane Muthoni nimezisikiza na za Mwigai wa Joroge, Uga na sa Soviga. He used to do, and, and the comments would do you that day. He would do the same day. Hey, we budget mozani kona message. Hey, we pay na five square na serikali. The following day would say the same same thing. Yeah, and actually, kama wa cigara died. He died from river sources. Yes, yeah, cigara. True story. Alikuwa ilikuwa mikuwa cigara di meno ina spoil ya tuzote. Kama wa actually died. And he used to sit there. He would sit and watch. Aki mi na kuambi like from the day we knew him. Niliacha kuwatch pa pa fgas. And then 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 you know, but then my brother Dongo and the boys will actually go and ride bikes in there. Yeah, and everything between. And then there was another one, my mom's friend, Wa Mwagi. Now Wa Mwagi was the worst. Because Wa Mwagi used to drink like five cups of tea. And you know actually Rimuru is a cold place. So she is the like like the tea there. So Wa Mwagi would come. And then we're like, Wa boy ni akea shai, akea him. And then he'll keep, and then most of the time my mom was not in the house. She used to come later. So they would come, they used to feel welcome themselves and juju kwa hapo and then the by then kitambua kuku ana like yo tabia mbaya mbaya what to do in wrong things to kids so they would just come and get and then my mom trusted them because she was working with them all the time so wa mwagi would come and pour him the first cup of tea ata yeka hapo i watch tv i watch tv i watch tv and then sayele mama angu anakuja ndo anachichukulisha kikombe and then he's like hey waboy kweni uliniakea chai baridi I was like, wa mwangi si nilikuwekea chai moto. Ha, hii ni baridi, my mom would be like, kwa ni unapea mgeni wangu chai baridi? And then we am like, ha, ya pana mam, nilimpea moto. Na, mimi, mtu watakuwa naenda kunyo kake. And then my mom would be like, ina siku watakuja kwako, kuswai mpea chai. Saa, huku ni kwagu, enda ukawashe moto. And then my mom used to be another one, akikuyu lady. Ye ya subui, atatupikea chai na gas. But wu kitoka shule, uwashe kuni, uhit gas. Gas ilikuwa tu inawashu wa subui. Mtapika lunch, kama mkuhu mtapika lunch na kuni, muhiti chai na kuni, 
na sapa mpike na kuni so imagine every time i have to hit that to hit that chai i'm going to washa kuni na kupuliza na nimetoka shule and then he wouldn't drink from the same cup twice mm. mimi nikikunya chai na kikombe mara moja na sikia dekinuka fani so you have to give him another cup every time you drink tea you have to give him another cup so ndio hiyo nimemwekea kwanza ya pili we got to a point that wa mwangis being so a nuisance every time kimwekea chai hakunywi hapo no is is like those guys wa kukunywa kabweso so he doesn't really need chai that much it's only that anataka tu kukusumbua so anataka tuwekeo chai ili i feel like kuna kitu nafanya so i'd be like okay naenda na read so i got a point nikajanjaruka so what i would do i would wait for him nikamwekea chai i wait for my mom to come still complain the chai is cold i would go and uh, take the kikombe i hit it I hit hit the kikombe I hit the kikombe hit the kikombe and then I take a rini my my I pour now the tea so when I'm handling it it be like oh ni moto ni moto so the minute I have said it's moto he cannot deny it's si moto he'll have to drink that chai yeah so for more of this and uh, more wonderful childhood memories and all my mama's friends I actually have another one his name is Vera Vera is hectic he once told my mom that kwa nini anamtolea ka whatever If you want to knock out ever ni nini tune on to the next episode I love you be blessed and I wish you all the best in all that you do Tune on kindly subscribe do like do comment your feedback is so 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 welcome